What exactly causes daylight? Is our sun exciting the noble gases through electromagnetism? If the sun is beyond the curvature, what is propagating this light? Does this light seem to be centralized? It is understood in mainstream science that static electricity becomes greater as you go up in altitude. Shall we look at a couple experiments pertaining to variable gases? And we're going to in each one of these tubes. So the first one that you see is helium. Then you've got neon. Then argon. Then krypton. And the last one is xenos. Four tubes are lighting up, as you can see here. And each one has its own characteristic um, appearance. The neon is the most colorful, and it's the one that ionizes at the lowest voltage. So I'm going to move back now and see which ones will die out. So krypton is not, is the second loss. Neon's still going. I mean, about further, neon's still going. Now finally I'm back out. So let's start back up to so helium, helium, neon. Argon, Krypton, and Xenon, all lighting up together. Of course, the spectacular display color. And if you were to get a spectroscope, you would be able to examine the output of each one of these lights and to see the different components of the spectrum. Thanks for watching everybody. different tubes, different gases in them, and I'm going to turn the power supply off while we turn the main lights off. Now you can see the different colors produced. The first one is helium, the second is neon, then we have argon, krypton, xenon, and at the end we have hydrogen gas. Now, in New York City, people often say, that it is colored brightly with neon signs. Now, not all those signs are neon signs. They are normal gas signs. Uh, they are made up by introducing different quantity of normal gases into a tube and by using different color of glasses. So by using those two combinations, we can produce a lot of different colors. As you can see, the second tube is neon. The force is helium. So not all the signs you see out there are neon signs. So I hope you enjoyed this display.
Not burning anything. There's no fusion in the sun. That's well understood. Prove it. Yeah, well, there's just not the way to prove that there is any. It's only in the flares do you get fusion. That's why all the x-rays. The flares, the arcs, and the x-rays, and the microwaves, and whatever result of fusion in the arcs. It's, there's no fusion in the sun. They don't know how the sun works. Why do you... What's special? How does the sun make light? It's a transformer. Transforms from some other dimension. It's not burning anything. It doesn't have to. It's a converter. Of what? I don't know. Nobody knows. But that's what it does. That's the only thing it can do because that's how everything works.